It's off to work for Trevor Evans, who's devoted much of his life building the Secret Creek Sanctuary. Today he's running one of his most ambitious projects so far, a purpose-built facility designed to help a rare Australian marsupial adapt to new climatic conditions. This is the mountain pygmy possum, usually found in the snowy mountains where the weather is much harsher than in Lithgow. They're at a thousand metres here. They normally only range down to about 1400 metres in the snowy mountains. But now, um, with climate change, this is a species we could lose. 20 million or more years ago, these creatures lived in temperate rainforest much further north. And we only know that because a fossil was found in the Riversley area of far north Queensland by scientists like Professor Mike Archer. And there you can see in this particular one, you can see a portion of a skull. And there you see along a row, there's the teeth sticking up out of this skull. Okay. From his laboratory at the University of New South Wales, Mike Archer is helping to forge a better understanding of how wildlife existed millions of years ago. The study of paleoconservation is providing a rare glimpse into the past and what it might mean for animals today and in the future. It's like reading a book back through time. As you come up through the rock record, the rocks get younger and younger, and all of these contain huge numbers of fossils, so we can chart how animals have been changing through time, how they've adapted to climate change, and we've learned things from this fossil record that are extremely important in terms of understanding why would the animals are doing what we see them today, what, what led to the way that they behave today, and a broader realization that the capacity of these animals to adapt to a much wider range of habitats than we see them in today um, is evidenced by this fossil record. It's still early days for this project. At the moment, Trevor Evans is trying to get the mountain pygmy possum's diet right. We could have animals return to the wild in the next five years, but um, these animals here are bred in captivity. They'll stay in captivity. The ones that will go back to the wild will be from wild stock. So we'll, um, we're making sure we have all the things in place for these little guys to be successful in their breeding. This is an insurance population for the species, for the planet. The success of this operation has enormous implications for wildlife in general, not just the mountain pygmy possum. If we can move successfully animals from one habitat to another, many species threatened with extinction could be saved. Roger Maynard, CNA, Lithgow, in the foothills of the Blue Mountains.